lights that we install now mm -hmm. are pretty much all LED at this point, which makes it really nice. And the options are really endless. We can do all kinds of different things with brightness and beam spreads. And there's a lot of different options out there when it comes to lighting. Yeah, and everybody has their own style of how they go about lighting up a property. Yep. Water features are no different. You can get very, very creative with how you do things and get light to do some stuff that you don't expect it to do. The main thing I want to focus on with lighting is just primarily, you're extending the amount of time that you get to hang out by your pond. That is the primary aspect that we think about when designing any kind of outdoor living space is how are you going to utilize this and when can you utilize it even the placement of the pond without the lights is the first thing we talk about because the weather's not always great it's not always nice out and so we want to make sure waterfalls can be seen from your windows and kitchens and stuff like that so that you get the most amount of time with your feature as you want throughout the year and lights are just a clear and obvious way to really start extending it into the nighttime hours all the lighting that we're doing is really just tying into your low voltage transformer. And if you don't have one of those, we set those aside and we put this thing called a photo cell on it where it automatically comes on when it gets dark out. And then depending on what time you want to shut it off, depending on what type of transformer you're using, right. there's different options on how we're going to shut this off. So just like we can uh, customize what time they come on, what time they go off, we can do different zones. There's all sorts of things that we can do and also change up the colors. Yeah. They've got a lot of really cool technology out now where you can change the colors through your phone, through different apps. Pond clean out time in the early spring when we're draining the water and we're cleaning everything out and we're getting the fish set aside. This is the best time to add those lighting components yep. uh, for the underwater lighting. Even during construction, we'll add lights then, but it's, it's a very flexible system. And what I mean by that is we are always able to add more later. So it doesn't have to be overwhelming. So I hope that this video gets you really excited to start adding lights to your water feature. Check out the links below for some other options. And when you're ready, contact us to get started.